TT Artisan goes autofocus. Uh, this is the first ever TT Artisan lens with autofocus for the Fuji X system. It's the 27mm f2.8. It retails for $149 or 169 euros. Uh, my name is Thomas. I've put it on my XE4 to find out how good this thing is. I'm really excited. Let's have a go. So at first glance, 27mm f2.8 doesn't sound very exciting. On the other hand, uh, Fuji does a lens with exactly the same specifications and the Fujinon is $399 if you buy it new. And also this lens is super, super small and very, very lightweight. 89 grams without the lens hood and the lens hood is 6 or 7 grams extra. So uh, you can't get any smaller or more lightweight if you're shooting an APS-C mirrorless camera. Disclaimer, this lens was provided to me by TT Artisan. Many thanks for your support for review purposes. And I give you my honest opinion and I show you a lot of sample shots, not only from today, but from one, two weeks of shooting. I put all the shots in this video so you can also see for yourself how good this lens is. In your hand, this lens, despite being very lightweight, all the outer parts are made from metal. It feels very nice in your hand. Inside, like with every autofocus lens, I assume there is also a lot of plastic going on. Uh, that's state of the art today. Uh, the focus ring is in the front and of course it's electronic. It doesn't have any markings on it. And the aperture ring here, uh, very nicely positioned. It's got uh, triple clicks between every F sub, which is very nice again, uh, from 2.8 to 16, and then a setting for auto. Note one thing, uh, the aperturing is pretty uh, smooth, just has these two grippy parts here, one here and one here. Uh, so if you hold the camera, you will always have to do it like this. You cannot do it like this because there's no grippy bit. So uh, if they could improve things, I would uh, I would like that the grippy part would extend all the way down here and only no grippy part where the numbers is. Like this, it works, so, but that would be nice. Then you could also use it like that. Apart from that, I don't have any issues with the handling. And of course, it's uh, an autofocus lens, nice metal uh, bayonet and all the electric contacts. A nice finishing touch is this super tiny screw-on metal um, lens hood. It uh, comes as standard and what's even nicer, wait, uh, this lens cap fits with the lens hood or not. So if you want the lens extra small, you remove this, you can still use the lens cap. And the lens cap is just plastic, but it's nice snap-on. So uh, for TT Artisan, these are much cheaper to make than the screw-in metal lens caps of their manual focus lenses, but uh, in use, this is much easier. So a win-win situation. This being an autofocus lens means it's got electric contacts and yes, it also relies on digital correction for vignetting and also distortion. And that's the reason why for the first time ever I'm using the JPEG mode on my camera to show you how it looks with the in-camera, in-lens digital corrections. And then we also have a look at the raw files as well.
Let's do a distortion test. And again, I'm shooting JPEG and RAW. And uh, by the way, I can already tell you what's going on. Uh, the JPEG will look perfectly straight because of in-camera correction and the RAW you will need quite a lot of correction. This lens has a lot of geometric uh, vignetting, pretty surprising for just 27 millimeter standard focal length. Uh, in Lightroom, you will need maybe plus 10, plus 12 to correct for it. And also this lens has one other weakness, the vignetting is pretty extreme and uh, it's not really controlled in camera, so for that again maybe go to RAW and then do it in your RAW converter. As you can already see, subject separation is not the strong point of this lens, but you get some bokeh. And close focusing distance is 35 centimeters, which is decent. Looking for some bokeh. <laughs> Uh, as you see, when you get pretty close, you get some bokeh and also it has some of this swirly look. Uh, geometric uh, vignetting, I assume. So you have a cat's eye effect on the, in the corners of your frame regarding bokeh. Autofocus feels reasonably snappy with this lens. Uh, the thing is, I'm shooting it on an XE4 and I saw already in the forums that people that, for example, use it on an XE1, a very old Fuji body, could have some issues. So keep in mind these lenses are not made by Fujinon. The same goes for Biltrox, etc, etc. So whenever there's a new camera on the market, they maybe have to update the firmware. Whenever you're shooting a very old camera, uh, there maybe also are some issues. Um, TT Artisan provides this with a lens cap that has a built-in USB-C slot, so they know they have to update the firmware from time to time. So that's a very good thing, and I hope that they will keep up the work. So that's the JPEG, um, that's the reason why I always shoot RAW, because in RAW I can edit the photo a little bit to make the face, the mask look, uh, stand out a little bit uh, behind the window. And in JPEG out of camera, I just have to take it as is. Um, I'm a RAW shooter, just a small uh, minor thing. Shortness, I'm gonna run through the apertures 2.8 to f8.
sharpness is the strong point of this lens. Already at f2.8 it looks pretty pretty decent all the way to the borders of your frame only the four corners suffer a little little bit and at f8 it's just a super sharp lens so this is a very very good thing. Straylight performance, that's one of the maybe a little bit weaknesses of this lens. I'll show you an example. Uh, if I move up here, you can see how there is a white out part in the, in the frame. So sometimes you get this uh, white out part in your frame. I get that in certain situations it can be an issue, but uh, you can make look, uh, any lens look bad in this. So I think the Fujinon 27 will beat this in terms of straight out performance, but I don't find this so terrible either. So this lens has a nice uh, seven-bladed aperture. It should make for 14-pointed sun stars. Let's try out. This is a cool travel lens. You just uh, go to some city, have a day trip somewhere, a city tour or whatever. This is small, light white, and it's a cool field of view, this 27 millimeter on APS-C that equals 42, I think, on full frame, which is a little bit wider than standard. Yeah, a very unobtrusive, uh, simple lens to shoot. I really enjoy that. And uh, I hope that my JPEG shots turn out well. I'm really not a good JPEG shooter. Did I say that already? Time for the verdict. Um, what do I think about this lens? It's super sharp. It is a very nice uh, mechanical construction, cool design. Um, it's sort of snappy, at least on the XE4 regarding autofocus. It delivers very, very nice images. The downsides, it has a lot of geometric distortion uh, that has to be corrected. Uh, I find plus 10 or plus 12 quite a lot. Uh, plus 10 is the correction in Lightroom. Uh, it vignettes very heavily and of course being a 2.8 lens you don't get a lot of bokeh but the Fujinon 2.8 won't do a better job there. So overall price performance is very good. $149 for an autofocus lens with this nice mechanical construction and sharpness is a steal. So uh, for a travel lens I actually like it a lot. I would prefer this over any kit zoom lens because it's really much sharper. and. Um, you don't get any smaller, especially on an XE body. It's a very, very nice fit. Um, downsides again, make sure it works on your camera. Be prepared, you will need firmware updates whenever there are new camera releases. But I say that for every autofocus lens that's not from Fujinon themselves. So overall, I recommend this lens. Um, I think it's a really good uh, start for TT Artisan into the autofocus business. And that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting, maybe even useful. In case you've got any questions or comments, write something in the comment section below. I love to read all your comments. I will happily answer every single one of them. So, uh, like if you like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. I love your support. Many, many, many thanks. And have a great time. Uh, live long and prosper. And I see you in the next video. Bye. <music>